If you have seen this quote, evil cannot create anything new. They can only corrupt and ruin what good forces have invented or made. This quote was attributed to J.R.R. Tolkien and while there has been some debate whether or not he actually said that in those words precisely, the quote stands true quite well when we talk about the entertainment industry. For years now, we have been plagued by bad remakes, walkification of beloved products, destruction of franchises and the absolute abhorrent retconning of anything that the woke community and the DEI narrative could get their hands off in terms of entertainment both in movies and TV series as well as gaming. However, in life everything is always in balance and while at a certain point one thing can rise over the other, nature has has a way to overcorrect and return the balance that was broken. And this is exactly what is happening in our year of 2024. This is the year where DEI has been completely and utterly destroyed in my humble opinion. However, this is not just me blabbering uh, absolute nonsense. I have a lot of evidence to show you and we're gonna start with something very new and very fresh. The fella you're with, uh, the black kid, dresses like a writer. Does he know anything? You are racist. Dustborn. It has currently 17 people who have played in the last 37 minutes with an all-time peak of 76 players. For any of you that has haven't seen Dustborn or heard about Dustborn, it's an absolute woke disaster. Funded allegedly by governments and centered around the 2016 US elections. The game is absolutely horrible to look at absolutely horrible to play and it's filled to the brim with wokeness dei snowflake mentality and absolute nonsensical items and overall things that you can see and i'm gonna show you some of them this is from akuma this allegedly is a game feature i haven't played the game however this seems like a screenshot this is a skill that you can learn which is described as we've learned how to cancel someone cancel will allow us to isolate people from their friends and compatriots in battle this could be a useful tool against enemies imagine teaching young people who are starting gaming now and want to check out the new games how to cancel people how to be how to isolate someone from their environment and leave them completely alone and psychologically tortured this is what the game implies and wants to teach the ones who are playing it it's a very positive message if you're a psychopath we also have the bully option We've learned to bully people. Bully gives us the power to force people to do something they may not want to do or to make them feel bad about themselves in fights. This could be highly effective on targeted enemies. I couldn't find a concrete evidence that this actually exists in the game. However, I'm inclined to believe that it exists. This is the exact narrative and the exact mindset of the woke people. Either you're going with us or we're gonna cancel and bully you. This is what they're doing. And this is the personification of their vision and agenda. The reason I'm showing you this is because this came out and was greenlit and was funded. This game actually got money to be made the way it was made. And when we look at the player peak 76 it will appear that nobody gives a shit about those kinds of things which gets me to the point that people have already given up trying to accommodate to these woke weirdos we're moving to concord another cheap dei field game although a bit better in my opinion i've watched several clips of it being played online and it's not unplayable it's nothing exceptional. It's somewhat of a playable thing if you want to play. However, you have much better games, much more polished and entertaining games that you can play as a 
PvP shooter that are free and they do not want you to play for the game or play or pay additionally just to receive some content and this 660,000 sorry 606 all-time peak people speaks for itself imagine if you have 660 people who are your peak game the peak number that have played the game for a game that apparently if we look at this tweet from learning the law has cost between 50 and 150 million dollars to develop this these two games look like a monetary black hole these games have blown money more effectively than an eastern european government this is how effective they are there is no way that they're going to be able to even make back the money that they've spent on the development of this game not to mention any kind of profit and you've probably see that the concord x developer was very distraught over the fact that they spent eight years developing this masterpiece only for it to be fa a fail and proceeding to attack people and insult them when they provide very polite criticism to their opinions and the game well this is not all that has been happening and it these two examples that I just gave are just the tip of the iceberg. Let's go to something else. From the numbers, the latest from Deadpool and Wolverine is that the worldwide box office was $1.2 billion and more. This is a movie with simple plot, simple development, and a lot, a lot of absolute fun throughout the way and that's why people love that it. it didn't have any woke dei insertions it had only two amazing actors doing what they're amazing at and they did it for the sake of the fans and they did it with the mindset of pleasing the fans and speaking of doing something to please the fans black myth wukong sells 10 million copies in three days this is from yesterday three days it that it took only three days for a game that costs around 75 million dollars reportedly to sell 10 million copies and you can do the simple math because the normal package for black myth wukong on steam is 50 dollars you can just go with the lowest score and just imagine how much money they're making all of this all of these things are small pebbles that are falling from the mountain and slowly crumbling the absolute bullshit woke narrative you can also add the cancellation of the, the acolyte season two because that was on 180 million dollars that just went out like a puff of smoke nowhere because the show didn't make the money back in any category it had the biggest drop in audience retention and had the lowest ratings of any star wars or any show for that matter at one time and this forced Disney to take an actual sensible decision to cancel the, the development of the second season now rings of power is coming along the second season and judging by everything that has been revealed in the news this show is going to flop even harder than the acolyte if my predictions are correct so i've given you a lot of exposition here we we've discovered we, we've covered a lot of individual examples of how the woke has failed this year alone but those are just some recent examples of how presenting your product to the audience with the intention of pleasing the audience and making the development process for that exact same reason will always trump even the most well-funded bad products because the woke narrative has survived this long primarily from funding and pouring money into the project they made no profit maybe you can find several out of a hundred projects that made a little bit of money but it's grossly unbalanced in terms of what was put in as production costs for games tv shows movies whatever you like versus how much profit they made black meat wukong is the first triple a game from game science developer and it has blown away the competition they're rolling in money but that's because they focused on creating a game catered to gamers and not 
activists and they released the game with the intention of pleasing the general audience of selling as many copies as possible they didn't have any dei inclusion they didn't have any pronouns they didn't have any 76,453 genders you can choose from they didn't have any race insertions like assassin's creed shadows is doing they only made a faithful adaptation of a very good novel and they presented it as a fantasy fighting game where you play a fucking monkey who jumps around and bashes other creatures and people with a stick that's the game and that game is amazing it's absolutely awesome on every level and this year is the year that everything starts to crumble with the cancellations of shows with the increasingly bad numbers for woke projects and dei products that have been released this is going to be the final year where dei is going to be something that exists in our entertainment i'm fairly certain that from next year we will start getting more faithful adaptations we'll start to get original products being promoted way more than they were now we'll see a lot of indie developers and small creators rising up with original content and original stories and everything that was woke will slowly fade away from entertainment it's not going to disappear as a whole but it's not going to be relevant anymore because in the end it all comes down to money and the money is just not going in anymore it took them some time but the investors have finally opened their eyes and saw the huge black hole that have been they've been throwing cases and cases of cash into and somehow expected that black hole to spew even more cash back at them and finally they're awake and they're said okay i think we've thrown enough into this endless abyss time to go and make some actual money now and we'll see we have several more months to go we have the rings of power coming out which will be an abhorrent show if everyone including my predictions are correct we have several more games that are gonna come out and they're gonna flop and you have a lot of indie games that are currently on the rise and they'll topple even some of the bigger games on the charts as well we'll see who wins the game of the year award and we'll see the numbers at the end of december but until then we can always just stand back and watch as that mountain crumbles and it leaves nothing behind it only for something better to come and take its place so we can finally have a good view and a good time this is all i have for this video today folks thank you for listening this far if you enjoyed my content please press the like and subscribe buttons over here follow me on my socials follow me on my patreon where if you support me you'll be supporting homeless animals and animals in shelter join me for the next videos and my streams on black meat wukong and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers and stay fresh